Today, everybody, I got in a package of sodas, and Nate and I wanted to open them up, but then we realized six wasn't enough for an entire video. So today, we're gonna be going to look for more. Oh, and pops, of course. Let's get started. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't come late at night in a while. Toys R Us, you gotta fix your sign. Okay, so I made it to the pop section, and the first thing I wanna show you guys before we even go through the wall is it looks like they just got in a bunch of new figures, and I noticed down here they have the Funko Gold of Justin Hibbert with Chase, and the box hasn't been opened yet. So maybe I might ask about it, and then I also see over here Zach Wilson with Chase. Mm could be kind of cool to go for. But now let's actually take a look at the wall because down here they've got some of the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special figures. Have you guys seen it yet? I'm gonna be honest, I haven't watched it yet, but it is on my list. And then also next to that, we've got the Sam from Trick or Treat. And then to the right over here, they got in Borat as well as Mona Lisa, Harry Potter, like a bunch of the ones from New York Comic Con. And I think I am probably gonna be getting one of them today. Ah, here it is right here, the Professor Owl. This is just such a good figure and I have the soda, they'll go well together. Oh, and then they also have Longshot from X and I believe he was here last time. And you know what, now that I think about it, I said Hibbert instead of Herbert? Sorry about that. But now as I keep going, it looks like they've got a bunch of the Jeffries. we've got some of the Peacemaker ones, the new Mariah Carey as well as Biz Markie. And then I think that seems to be about it for the new stuff. I, I think so. Like, I don't know guys, there are so many to go through. So let me know if you see anything else here that is new. And this Harry Potter is pretty cool. I'm debating on getting this one. I don't know, I like it a lot. Especially because for a while there, I was trying to get every single Harry Potter figure. Not like every Harry Potter one in general, just like him specifically. You guys know what I mean? It's hard when the name of the franchise is also the name of the character, but Harry Potter. I mean, they had like about, I think 15 at the time, and now they're up to way more than that. I don't even know what the number is. Okay, now our only stop of the day was going to be Toys R Us, but then we were passing by the mall. They've got a bunch of pop stores, as well as Pokemon cards, because I think, Nate, you wanted some. I do. So let's go in. Now the first store we came into was Showtime, and it seems like in this cabinet, they have pretty similar figures to the last time I was here. They've got the normal size Justin Herbert uh, Funko Gold, and then a little bit lower, a bunch of the older gingerbread ones. And then it looks like we've got some Pokemon, Black Adam, and then over here by Nate, no, I gotta get around them here. We've got like uh, King Tut from the Batman classic TV series, which is really cool to see Peter Pettigrew. But I'm honestly not seeing much that's new from the last time I was here. And now because they are different on the outside, I always like to take a look. And there is a couple different things here, but then also check this out at the bottom. I bet you my friend Chad would really like this. One of the hoverboards from Back to the Future, signed by Christopher Lloyd. Now Nate, it looks like you found the Pokemon cards. And um, I don't know, there's some good ones here. They also have the entire booster boxes. $5.50 a pack is not bad. Do they have any... I'm looking for Brilliant Stars for anybody wondering. And it seems like they've got a bunch of them, but I'm not seeing Brilliant Stars, at least in this section anyways. But still, a lot to choose from. Oh, now here's a section that I did not see last time. It looks like a bit of a Stranger Things one with a couple pocket pops, but if I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I need anything from here today, but hey, it's always good to check. And now we've made it over to Walmart, and if I'm gonna be honest, it's looking very similar to the last time I was here, but it's cool to see one of these still, the Pop Deluxe Moments, and this one here is, of course, Run DMC. And then, I don't know why it's back here, but I noticed that they have the New York Comic Con Swamp Fire. For some reason, maybe somebody was hiding it, but it's clearly open from the back. Okay, now we've come into GameStop, and there's actually a couple things that I wanna pick up while we're here, with the first on being this brand new R2-D2. I know that there's a couple that released for this new wave, but this seems to be the only one that's made it to Canada so far, and I definitely don't want to miss out on these. And then over to the left, I also noticed that they got in this Kakashi, and I believe that there is a chase for this one, but I'm noticing that there's only five of them here. I'm gonna check, but it's probably not likely. Oh, and now here's one that I don't think I'm gonna be getting, but it is really cool to see. This is the five-headed dragon from Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, this thing is just so detailed. I just don't know much about Yu-Gi-Oh, so I think I'm gonna pass, and if anybody, you know, is a big fan wants this one, I'm gonna be leaving it behind. Oh, and then down here, this is the first time I believe I've seen this one in stores, or maybe it was once before, but I never really took a look at it. It is her in the Rocks line, and what I really enjoy about this one is that she has her clear guitar, and then her dress is completely glittered. Alrighty, now we're back, and the first store we should probably start with is Toys R Us. Yeah, this is the store we got the most at, I feel like, today. Yes. So, we'll start diving into what we got. Okay, well, I ended up getting two pops while I was there. I got the Professor Owl. Now, you might not know this character, Nate. Uh, I'm not a big... Disney fan, but I do recognize the character. I don't want to take a guess. It's an older Disney show. <sighs> I, I believe. Say Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think Very it's his own wrong. thing. 
I, why am I blanking now on which show this is? Anyways, it's an older Disney character. I really do like what he looks like. I think he's just like a cool one in general. Plus I had this soda, so I figured the two of them would go together pretty nicely. And then the other one that I grabbed is one that I was kind of debating on and then I was like, you know what, why not? Let's grab yeah. him. I got the Harry Potter with sword as well as, if I'm gonna be honest, I don't exactly remember what in the, what's in his hand. It's almost like a tooth of some sort. It might be on the bottom. Yeah, I've already see. took a gamble with the Mr. Owl one tonight, uh -huh. so. Harry with sword and fang. I was correct. There we okay, go. good, good, good. I thought I was wrong. He cuts the fang off. Basilisk. Oh, the basilisk fang. Oh, people are going to rip us in the comments for these. Got a bad one today. You know what? Now that I've got this one, I should probably watch Harry Potter over again, or at least the movie with the basilisk. Uh, probably. Probably. So the main reason we went today was the sodas, but they were behind the counter, so it's a little bit harder to film them without getting people in it. And... Well, I just try not to film at the counter, and I hate that they now... Well, actually, I hate and I love that they moved them there because I like that they're not opened anymore, yeah, and but now aren't... I can't really show them. Yeah, and people don't have the opportunity to like weigh them and stuff like that, especially with some of like the heavier chases too. Oh, for sure, for sure. So. And now I can show you guys which ones we ended up getting. For some reason they had auto. I don't know why they got this one in. It's from, I believe New York Comic Con or San Diego Comic Con, yeah. one of the others. But it's the first ever fantastic plastic character mm -hmm. to get, get a soda. I did get two of those. Yes, I did. And I'm really excited about this because I did open up, I believe it was one of them. And this was San Diego Comic Con, not yeah, that I'm remembering. Yeah. But I opened up one of them, did not get a chase. So I'm hoping today maybe we could get both chases or at least one would be nice. Then the next one that we got was a another pretty great one it is Jimi hendrix and i gotta say this one feels really heavy feel now, that i don't know the chase on this one what would that have been um it's really cool actually it's like a patina kind of like statue version of them it's like okay. kind of like copper ish you I like know what that. i mean I like kind of like yeah. the old version of the statue of liberty in a way like okay. before it turned green yeah. if that makes sense and then the other one that we've got here is two more of the grape apes i didn't get the chase yeah. last time i so opened them up a lot of these we were are almost doubles but we didn't get the chase on them so right. we're gonna go for it again and hopefully fingers crossed yeah that was kind of what I was hoping for today and I also just noticed there is a double convention sticker on this one. I don't know if you saw that. Be if you guys luck. want to check it out, what is going on there? Let's hope that's the chase. And now since we've got them on the table, we might as well crack them open. But before we do that, you got to pick yours and I'll pick mine. Yeah. Okay. So we do have six. So I guess mm. I'll pick my first. Sure. Three go for it. You pick your then... three. I'll take whatever's left. So I'm going to go this, this, and this here. Okay. Not a lot of thought, but I'm feeling good. No, I'm good with that. Oh, you got the, the double, double sticker. Mm. So we'll have to see. On okay. This I'm a little nervous. I hope you get it. So I really now, just wanted it. Now, point. what is the chase on this one? Is so, it? he's predominantly blue and pink for the common one. For the chase, he should just be completely different colors. It looks like that's the normal one. That looks yeah, like the normal one. Is. Okay. Still pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I do like the black light version of it. Yeah, the black light's nice. And I believe, yeah, a while ago they did make the normal colors. And then for this one here, I don't know, they made it so different that I feel like if you got the other one, you would still want to get this version. Mm -hmm. Okay, now fingers crossed I get it on this one because these two here were actually, I didn't tell you guys earlier, were the last two they had. So. And we <laughs> bought two others of them the one time at Toys R Us. So. Uh, I bought, well, did we, you and I bought two? Because I, I bought four of them. I bought four Huckleberry Hounds, and then I bought four of this guy. So maybe these are the other two in the case? Oh, maybe. That would be nice. I hope so. Okay, let's find out here. Oh, it's another common one. Shoot. So I think we'll save Hen Jimi Hendrix for last in okay. auto right now. Sure, sounds good. Okay. I opened it first, so I think this one is your turn. Alrighty, cool. Now, for this one here, I know the normal one is the red suit, and I believe there is a purple and orange for the chases. Okay, so there's two chases in this Yeah. One. And I'm really hoping we get that one today, or at least just something different. Okay, ah, yeah, this is the red so one. you got the red one. Okay. I did. Now let's hope you can get one of the other colors. Fingers crossed. Yeah. And now while you're cracking open that one, I do kind of want to talk about the soda a little bit, because like I mentioned, this is the only ever fantastic plastic character to get yeah. one. And I'm hoping that Funko does more in the future, because I'd love to see a Poopa would be really cool. Maybe a Frank Von Wiener. That'd be pretty funny. Now I'm ready to go. Okay. And again, we, don't, we haven't looked at Pogs or anything like that. Nope. So this is completely... Yeah, I'm nervous. Let's hope it's a chase. So as long as it's not... These were also the last two, just to let you guys know. Okay, so, so we're starting with the helmet first. Come and on. Please have... be purple or orange. I can't see, but it's... Whoa. Oh. it's dark red again. Great. And now you know what? Even though we did get another common, I do have to say this one does look pretty great. And I like how they also hid the eight ball on the back. It's a nice little detail. I opened first this one, or last I'm one, you opened first one. this one. So, and you okay. said it's almost like a bronze statue. Yeah, like it'll one. be really obvious when it's the chase. Yeah, now, okay. and I think I might have grabbed the heavier one. I didn't feel the other one, but I know I'll be honest saying... though, Nate, when it comes to paint colors, I don't think there's going to be too much of a weight difference, but then again, you never know. No, okay. It feels like a big character to yeah. start. Just And here's the thing. I don't really care who gets these chases. I think I mentioned that already. I really just want to get them at this point. Yeah, at this point, just for the collection Come in on. general. Come on. So... Uh... 
hard to tell. No, no it is the normal the colors. Definitely. So while Tristan's opening this or his up, I'll talk a little bit about sure, this Jimi sure. Hendrix. So it's cool that he has the Stratocaster on there too. Oh, yeah, that's And neat. it's also the way Jimi Hendrix played. It was actually a right-handed Stratocaster that he flipped upside down left. So, so you can I wonder actually if they see. did that for this one. Yeah, so it's actually upside down. So that's oh. pretty cool. Okay, ready? Ready? ready to see what we got on this one? Yeah, I'm a little nervous about this, I'll be honest. Okay. <sighs> I hope it's the chase. Don't it better be. Do you want me to check first? Oh, uh, I saw the jeans and I was like, they are not a copper color. This is definitely, yeah, it's the normal one again. Now we do have more sodas for today, but before we get into them, let's do this first. All the stuff that we got over at GameStop. And it's kind of funny because this feels like a Nikocado avocado mukbang, but with Funko Pops. A big fat tray of Funko Pops just slapped down in front of us. Yeah, yeah, so let's just dig into it. So to start off, we have Steve from season four of Stranger Things. Go and on, go. I believe this outfit is from when they go into the Upside Down. Um, at, yeah, it looks the like the end it. of the season and he has the axe in his hand. So that's pretty neat. Yeah, I like that one. And then the other one that we've got here also from Stranger Things Season 4 is Argyle with his Surfer Boy pizza hat as well as his shirt. And I saw that they did make one. Actually, I knew about it for a while, but now it's finally coming out. Him in the truck. It's yeah, over that's at cool. Target. Yeah. I'm really excited about that one. Hope I can get that one soon. Fingers crossed it shows up at least at the one that I go to. Mm -hmm. Or at least it's there when I go because I go on the weekends and yeah. uh, it's a little bit picked over by the time I get to them. And now I guess we can go for this one next because if I'm going to be honest, I don't really know why I got this pop. Its name is pretty fitting for the sculpt on this. I just don't think it looks amazing. It is Abomination. This one here is from She-Hulk. Like, it's okay. Yeah, well, it's actually in his, um, it's Emil Blonsky, like, in his, like, spiritual retreat outfit as yeah. Abomination. So that's pretty cool. It is neat, but there's just, like, something weird about it. I wanted to take it out of the box to take a look a little bit closer. But he's got, like, the, the hump on the back his, there. Uh, his frill in the back, yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit odd. But then again, this is what Abomination looks like. So there's really really not much Funko could do about it. It's just, it's kind of a weird figure in general. Now, Nate, I kind of picked up these pre-orders at the counter and they just bagged them. So I don't know if you saw yeah, them too much. I don't so think you I really got a good like... look at them or not, but I guess we can just... Yeah, you grab for the next bag. Maybe you can talk about it if you can. Got. This might be one you can't talk about. I'm not a big anime <laughs> fan, but... Um, maybe this one's for Noah. One. Yeah, it is one. the new Kakashi one. There's also a chase that glows in the dark. That's the one I was hoping I was for. Say, yeah, it's a little. We've had a little bit of a dry spell with chases recently. And I know that's unfortunate, but you know, there's always time for more. I know we do have more coming today with the soda, so fingers crossed. You never know. But uh, yeah, this one here I pre-ordered, hoping I could get the chase. We did not. Noah still needs this one for his collection. Mm. It's just too bad it wasn't that rare one because they had a bunch of this exact one on the shelf. Now maybe you can redeem yourself a little bit with this bag here. I think you know yeah, the characters a little bit. I think I saw these ones when they bagged them up, so okay. I guess we'll start off on the one on the top. Sure, okay, sure. so yeah, this is the comic book R2-D2 Yeah, here. the retro comic one. Yeah, so this is one's pretty cool. Now, I don't know a lot about the like the comics behind it, but I right. do know as a character, like the art, the artwork and the paint job they do on it is, mm -hmm. is pretty unique, and especially because it, it's like the same R2-D2 sculpt as the other ones. Yes, I believe so. And this yeah. one, I'm not exactly sure because this might be the updated. Okay, so it is the updated version of R2. There was two different ones that they had made and I okay. believe this one here is the one that came with the Princess Leia 2-pack because the bobblehead on these used to be the, like whatever legs they had on the side would yeah. bobble from there. Now they do it where it's like halfway up by the head. Okay. Which makes a little bit more sense. But um, if you guys want to check this one out a little bit closer up, this one is a really great one. Then on the back side here, take a look at that guys. It's really cool because they actually show the original comic book. And now we've got the skateboard. And this one, I don't think you saw at all. No, I honestly didn't even know we got a skateboard. No, you didn't? I walked okay. into the studio today and there was a skateboard here. And honestly, I don't know how it got here. Okay, well, I I was at the mall with it. So I don't know how you didn't see it. And anyways, let me show you what it is. And I'll show you guys first on this side. It's got like the Funko crown. And oh, then wow. over here, take a look at this, guys. It is the brand new Nightmare Before Christmas one. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, what's weird about it, though, too, is that they were supposed to be Hot Topic exclusives. And then they made them like shared here in Canada yeah. with like different stores and then GameStop got them and I don't know why because we have Hot Topic in Canada it was a bit odd but hey at least I could get one. Oh, and because of the amount of skate decks that I have now if you guys would like to see a video on them I think I have like maybe five or six at this point it could be kind of fun. Oh and I can't forget about it before we open up the sodas we also have this I don't know why they got them in so late here yeah, in Canada but I was able really to get cool. this video game cover. Mm -hmm. For what is that Sonic 2? Yeah on that's the really Genesis. Cool. Yeah. I've really been wanting this one for a while too because I wanted to do a Sonic collection but I felt like I didn't have mm. enough of them 
so this just kind of like bulks it up a little bit. And now just a question for you. Have they done more of the, the video game covers? Like yes. Um, there's a Halo one okay. that I can remember. Um, this one is number one. Mm -hmm. I, it's not that many. I'm trying to remember if there's like a third one. Maybe. I'll pop it on the screen for you guys. Yeah. There's not many of them though. And I know just when we were going through GameStop today, I saw like a cool Doom action figure. Mm. So I think like maybe like if sticking with kind of the retro arcade theory. There might be a Doom. There might be a there Doom. There might with. be a Doom. I'm trying to remember if there is. I think Doom is if one If not, them. I think like an, an arcade Doom kind of pop video right. game cover would be pretty neat or even the new doom game that's too. true that's true yeah i think there might be a doom i don't know i'd have to check on that okay now nate you want to grab the other sodas now yeah so we do have a couple that i'm kind of excited about i, think I know I, I, i'll I, be honest i actually ordered them because of you I, I kind of pressured you into them a little bit and i think that's a good thing so we have armored jack and ashi sure from samurai jack this is, it's just called samurai jack i don't know why i keep focusing on the background today there we go there we go samurai jack and then we also have ashi which like you mentioned which isn't okay when I'm going to be honest. I don't know much about these ones because I've never seen Samurai Jack. Yeah, I was a big fan of the show like a couple of years ago. Like I just, I don't know why I was staying up late and it was always on reruns on like Cartoon mm, Network. That makes sense. And yeah, I was just, I got really into cool. the show. And then the other one that I ordered, you said you didn't want me to order more of them. But then <laughs> I was like, a, yeah. yeah, just for fun. I was like, you know what? Let's order a couple more of the Jawa. Oh, there we go. Wait, where's the front there? There we go. Let's order a couple more of the Jawas because I really did want to get that chase where he's holding the huge blaster. Yeah. So I think because you were really excited about the Jawa, sure, and I know sure. it's the big one for you. I think we'll start off with that one here. Okay. So I'll give you this one. Sounds good. Because you were reaching well, for this can one. Can I feel them though, just for fun? Sure. I'm going to keep this one, but. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. Sounds good. And you Sounds can open good. it first too. Oh, you want me to go first? Alrighty. Okay. Hey, here we go. I'm hoping we got a chase. Did it today. feel heavier? A little bit. Okay. But then again, it's hard to tell because of how small they are in general. Yeah. But I really am hoping that we did get one with the blaster. And it looks like. Ah, this is the normal one, I think. Looks like it. But yeah, this is definitely the normal Jawa. It's too bad. And while I'm opening mine, you can almost see how the hands are set up to be like as if they were holding a blaster. Yeah, it's a little so weird. Hopefully. I think, yeah, I'm thinking, I'm looking at it here. I think they literally just take the hands off, put the blaster in, like yeah. they kind of like switch them out, which I guess makes sense. It's easier for them. But let's hope. I'm really hoping you got a blaster on this one. Don't we both? I know, because this will be six Jawas if I don't get it. Six Jawas, not a blaster in sight. But then again, here's the thing. Jawas, you can have more than one of them. Yeah, to have a little collection, that is true. But he's looking empty-handed. Looks like we went six and oh. I think we should do Ashi next. Okay. Now, that's okay oh, That's you. fine, that's fine, that's fine. Okay. You now, gave me, no, you gave me the soda last time. I gave time. you, so. I kind of want to go for the wonky one here. This one's got like a bit of a bump to it. Like it's more, I don't know, it's leaning. I, I, there's something about this one that I like. Then you may have your wonky soda. Okay, but you, you're on first though. And I I agree with that. Mm -hmm. So, and now do you want to talk about the chase on this one? And I believe it was, it's her in a black suit. Yeah, right? when she was working with like Aku. Okay. So part of the show is when she like, there's like a redemption arc. I'll be honest, Nate, you've lost me already. Yeah, I know. You haven't really I mean, I know who show. Aku is. Yeah. I have so, his soda. That's okay. about it. Uh, oh, okay. So uh, mine's the common. Okay. Still a very cool figure, actually. It really is really nice and detailed. I do appreciate that. Yeah, it's a cool one. And I mean, the thing is, I don't have any of her yet, so yeah. I don't mind which one I get for the first mm. one. But now for this one here, we kind of mind. A chase would be nice. I'm a little nervous about it. I'm going to be honest because I don't want to buy another one. And maybe I won't. Maybe if I see it in stores, I would. But like, I am I going to go out of my way to order? I was it? kind of the one who pressured you into it in yeah. the first place. So this is more of a passion project of mine. Well, you might get an ash of you if you want her. Wow. Uh, <laughs> So, yeah, another common. It's too bad. But it looks like, you know what, like I said, it's still a cool one. It's just too bad that I now have two, and you seem to know more about them than I do. So yeah. if you really want this one, she's all yours. I don't know if you even do. Oh, oh, you don't even want one. I bought two of these, and you don't even want it. All right, now I picked last time, so you can pick this time. Okay. And do you want, I guess, I was well, going to say. can't even see the cans yet, so go yeah, for it. Yeah, so two here, and now what's the chase on this one? Um, I believe, if I can remember correctly, he's wearing, like, the mask, I think. Like a helmet, okay. Yeah, like a helmet mask. I believe. Okay. All right. Oh, you think one's heavier than the other? Honestly, I really didn't feel a difference. Okay. Now, so who maybe... went first last time? Was it you or me? I went first, so this okay. one's yours. All right. Sounds good. Oh, okay, people. Here we go. We have such bad memory for doing this. I know. We just opened them, too. apart. Okay. I'm nervous. I feel like this isn't... Uh, I don't know. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah! Uh, uh, <laughs> oh! That's it! We got the chase! Chase. Okay, this is perfect! 
Oh, wow. wow. Look at that. It's like an Oni mask. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, that is completely different. And you know what, Nate? I was thinking they were going to be different weights, but then again, he does have longer hair when yeah, he's wearing the armor. Yeah, it seems like the helmet almost like replaces the hair. Like, it's not like Maybe. the same molding too so no I but know. i do think they try to make them similar weights see this is nice because now even if we get a common it's a win at the end of the day i know i know so, i know i'm putting this in the video everybody nate could not open his can it was so i'm opening it for him it's a little tough for me there you go thanks Kristen. <laughs> yeah, no problem now i wonder could we get two chases technically yes Technically, it's always a possibility. I know, I know. But now, like, if they're from chase, the same case... Our chase luck for the day has been atrocious, some would Right, say. but also, I would like to just get a normal one. And now I did do feet first. Okay, it could be. I mean, the body's the exact same on this guy. Okay, I'm feeling the top, and there's no spikes, so I think... Okay, good, we got okay, the common. Good. Okay, okay, all right, so all right. I'm, I'm okay with that, I'm so okay with okay. that. And so, yeah, you can tell they are very similar in size, because, mm -hmm. like, his longer hair is just replaced by the helmet. Yeah. And then maybe his face is about the same... Oh. Yeah, in terms of weight, I feel like they're probably almost identical. That's why we yeah. really couldn't feel a, a difference in them, but it's mm -hmm. awesome we got the chase. Yeah, and they do feel like just holding them in my hand, pretty similar. And well, guys, even though we didn't get too many chases today, we still had a lot of fun. I think that you enjoyed yourself. I always love opening up a couple of sodas. You know, even if you don't always get the chases, I think the no. thrill of opening it up is still pretty And fun. here's the thing, the Samurai Jackham was some good redemption at the end there. And anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you tomorrow.